Hi, good day. Welcome back to our class in Biochemistry Laboratory. Today, I will be demonstrating to you the activity on the precipitation of proteins. Proteins can be precipitated by the following ways or methods. One, by heating. Two, by adding alcohol. Three, by reacting it with uh, salts or neutral salts. Four is by adding it with heavy metals. And fifth is by reacting it with the alkaloidal reagents. So for the first method of precipitating the protein is by heating. So we will get three test tubes, fill it with one ml of the egg albumin. So this is the egg albumin. We're going to get 1 ml of the egg albumin and then place this to the test tube. Then to the second test tube, we will fill this with egg albumin. And to the third test tube, fill this with 1 ml of the egg albumin. Then, to the first test tube, we are going to add to this one drop of the 0.1 normal acetic acid. So, this is the 0.1 normal acetic acid. Just one drop. To the second test tube, we are going to add this with two drops of the 5 normal acetic acid. The third test tube will serve as our control, so we will not add anything to the third test tube. With these three test tubes, we will place this into the water bath to heat it. Then we will place this to the water bath and boil it. This is the 0.1 normal acetic acid. This is the albumin added with the 5 normal acetic acid, and this is without the acid. So we're going to remove the boiled uh, egg albumin added with the uh, 0.1 normal acetic acid then this is the egg albumin added with a 5 normal acetic acid and this is the egg albumin without adding any acid I want you to observe what happens to the egg albumin which was added with 0.1 normal acetic acid, with 5 normal acetic acid, and without acetic acid, and they were heated. For the next precipitation reaction is we are going to add ethyl alcohol to 
the egg albumin. So we will use here 2 ml of the egg albumin and we will add it with 4 ml of the ethyl alcohol. Then to this egg albumin, we are going to add this with 4 ml of the ethyl alcohol. So this is the ethyl alcohol. Observe what happens. Observe what happens. Then let's get some of the precipitates here and we will test it with the solubility in water. Observe what happens. With the remaining amount of our mixture, wherein we form the precipitate here upon adding the egg albumin with the ethyl alcohol, we will set this aside for 30 minutes. We'll just go back to that later, after 30 minutes. This was the precipitate that we formed a while ago when the egg albumin was added with the ethyl alcohol and it was set aside for some minutes, about 30 minutes. So with the precipitate that you see at the lower part of the mixture, then we are going to dissolve this in water. So this was the precipitate that was produced when the uh, egg albumin was added with the ethyl alcohol a while ago and shook it with water. I want you to observe what happens to the precipitate. With the remaining mixture of the ethyl alcohol and the egg albumin that we have set a while ago we are going to filter this and with the filtrate we are going to heat this over the water bath and we are going to observe what happens then we are going to filter this mixture of the ethyl alcohol and the egg albumin that we had a while ago With the filtrate, we're going to place this into the water bath. So this was the filtrate that we have collected from the mixture of the ethyl alcohol and the egg albumin and we place this into the water bath. I want you to observe what happens to the filtrate.
Then let's go to precipitation reaction number three. That is adding the egg albumin with the neutral salt. So when we say neutral salt, we have the sodium chloride, we have the ammonium sulfate, and we are going to use these two neutral salts. So. We will use 2 ml of the egg albumin. So to one test tube, we are going to saturate this with sodium chloride. So I have here the sodium chloride. We will add some more sodium chloride to saturate it. So with this egg albumin, I have added this with two packs of sodium chloride. Let us start to compare this with the other tube containing the egg albumin and we will saturate this with the ammonium sulfate. So this is the ammonium sulfate. I want you to observe what happens. This is the egg albumin saturated with the sodium chloride, while this is the egg albumin saturated with ammonium sulfate. I want you to see the bottom part of the test tube. In which case is the egg albumin being precipitated? The next precipitation reaction that we are going to demonstrate is the precipitation of the egg albumin with the copper sulfate solution. So we will use again 2 ml of the egg albumin. After this, we are going to add this with 1 ml of the cupric sulfate solution. 
So here is the cupric sulfate solution. And I want you to observe what happens to the egg albumin. Is there a precipitate that is formed? And the fifth precipitation reaction that we are going to exhibit on proteins is the addition of the alkaloidal reagent. The alkaloidal reagent that we are going to use here is the picric acid. This is the picric acid. Then we will use 2 ml of the egg albumin. Before we are going to add this with the picric acid, we are going to add this with one drop of the hydrochloric acid solution. This is the hydrochloric acid. After adding it with the hydrochloric acid, then we will add two drops of the picric acid solution. Observe what happens. Is there a precipitate form? What's the color of the precipitate? So those are all the precipitation reactions of proteins that we have demonstrated. And I want you to answer all the questions given in the lab guide. I want you also to write all the observations that you have made and kindly write a formal report about this activity on the precipitation reaction of proteins. That would be all for today. This is your teacher, Professor Nesitas Ruiz of Holy Name University.